Okay, good evening everybody again. This is Nelka and I have one request from my Facebook friend. I will not mention his name but he asked for uh, more facade lighting design techniques. So, okay, let's go and add another tips and tricks about how to do facade lighting design. So I have one project right now. This is the one I'm working to, not right now. Um, yesterday and today I did this one so this is a small facade lighting and um, we decided to create something like this so this is done by the architect he did it in Photoshop see you can see those lines that is his concept so this is an actual picture now and they want to enhance the facade of this building and you can see that uh, some are edited including this logo and this logo and also this um, lines here that we are about to light it up later okay so this is another so, sorry <laughs> this is another view of this building so uh, again it is photoshopped and another one this is what he did and th this is the concept the problem now that he 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 asked us to do is which fitting and he asked if it's really possible to achieve this kind of effect the good thing we have a nice fitting in our range it is called the oops the vista this one so it's a uh, you can uh, do it uh, you can mount it either by surface mounted or recessed and um, yeah and it's also good because it's RGB so what i did is this one so i use this fitting it has as is file you can download it here so you just go um, and check the website acdclighting.co.uk and then you will have it so go and download the um what is this um where is the is file now it's gone <laughs> okay whoever wants to have the ice file of this one i can just send it to you i think they are upgrading it now okay so yeah so this is what i use in my design and um so i will show you now what i did because there are so many options and uh, there are already lots of revision happened but uh, the good thing is um we are so confident that we will get this project because the architect loves the vista fitting all right so i will show you now what i did all right so this is my first option actually the first option is using the vista only these lines but the client said it's a little dark can we add some so this is another option so we we added floodlights there and then yeah it shows it's all good because it also highlights the uh, path walk and the driver because as you can see in the image the original one it doesn't have anything on the path walk there's one post lamp here or street light but after that nothing that's why it's so dark in the night so if it is good if you put a floodlight there but the bad thing is it will destroy your vista or your facade design so you can see here it looks ugly because there are patchy of lights there hanging on the roof okay so you can see here it doesn't look good um yeah okay and yeah so that's how it looks if you put floodlights on the top and then one of my colleagues suggested to remove the floodlight on top instead put it on the pole so let's go back to the original picture and we decided to put a pole there he, uh, he suggested to use two meter poles and then put a floodlight there and sh flash it on the wall yeah like that good thing there's an LED screen here where they can play the advertisement so there is enough light on this area and also from inside light there will be a spill light from inside light this area is the problem because it doesn't have any more light except this line of lights which is the vista maybe there is one spill light here also on the sign boards or the signages but it's not enough because um, it's too high I think it's three levels so the next solution what I did is dun, 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 
yeah so we put some pole lights and then wash the building so this is a two meter pole height with a floodlight fusion and if you want to know this fusion floodlight this is called our floodlights fusion where's my floodlight fusion um my floodlight fusion is gone yeah there you go so this is the floodlight that i use in that two meter pole it's good because uh, it has linear optic a uh, flood optic wide beam beam medium and narrow and if you want to download the ice file it's here so let's go back and how it looks so i projected those floodlight i think i tilted it 15 degrees more so it will not uh, create glare on the cars below and passers-by and it's somebody will not block it because i checked the height of this human being it's a male height so yeah even if he passed through that pathway it will not block the floodlight so it's good and this is another view and another view it looks good it's even enough to wall wash not that much because it's also it's only 30 lux it's just enough to highlight the wall at the same time to see the line effect of light all right and this is another view looks good projected pro properly and then yeah on the floor you will also get the 20 lux so it's also good and enough for the passersby and uh, cars to pass through that because road lighting is also only 20 lux so it's enough and then yeah the close up so you can see the man there it's not blocking the floodlight and you can see those vistas and so that's it so i checked one of the inspiration i have here so i found out there's one facade lighting that is so similar to this project and it looks good yeah something like this so you can see here there's a line of light at the same time there is uh, floodlights here at the base so this is turned off no floodlight at the base but here there is little floodlights or maybe a spill lights from some somewhere else all right so i think this is where this architect get the idea of creating this facade lighting or facade lighting design okay so next time i will show you how i did it and i will show you my dialogs evo file so if you want to know more and to learn more about facade lighting design go and visit my udemy course about facade lighting design techniques you can see here it's now all, only 12 dollars so go and check this one and you can learn a lot of videos here so you can see that every topic has a video it's amazing and there's also tips and tricks and how to do it there's also photoshop not just dialax evo so go and check and so many i think you will spend uh, one full week to watch it at least um i think this is more than because it's i made this tutorial uh, um, planned to be for um eight days training so just check this one and yeah you can enroll on this one so see you again and tomorrow i will give you the dialogue evo on how i did this facade lighting design all right good night